In this screencast, we will talk about the walls of the heart or the layers that make up the actual heart itself, and then the coverings of the heart that make up the little pouch that the heart sits in. Before we move on to talking about these things, we need to think about a couple of vocabulary words. Uh, when you talk about a serous membrane, there are two layers. The visceral layer, the visceral layer of the membrane is going to be nice and close to the organ and cover that organ, while the parietal layer of the membrane is going to be further away from the organ or line the walls of the cavity itself. Peri is a prefix that means around. Epi means above or on or over or near or the outer part of something. Endo means within or the inner part of something. And myo is a prefix that we use for muscles. So the pericardium is a double layered sac or pouch. Uh, it is made up of the fibrous layer and the serous layer. So you can see in this diagram, there's the fibrous pericardium and then there's the serous pericardium. The serous pericardium uh, is actually made up of two layers. As we just talked about, you have the parietal layer of the pericardium, which is going to be further towards the outside, and the visceral layer of the pericardium, which is going to be nice and tight on the heart. And actually, in this case, it actually is the outer wall of that heart itself. The role of the pericardium is to enclose the heart and then the proximal ends of the blood vessels that attach to the heart. We'll talk about what these two layers, the fibrous and the serous pericardium, uh, do. The fibrous pericardium is the outer layer of the pericardium. In this diagram, you can see it's this light and dark gray layer. It's made out of dense connective tissue, and its job is to attach the heart to all the things that it is attached to so that the fibrous pericardium doesn't, or the heart itself doesn't bounce all around as it beats. Instead, the fibrous pericardium keeps it in one place, which is attached to the diaphragm, the sternum, the vertebral column, and then as mentioned before, the blood vessels. The serous pericardium is next up. Uh, the serous pericardium you can see down here is actually made up of two layers with fluid in the middle, like other serous membranes. So the parietal layer was right here, oh, sorry, right here, uh, and covers the surface of the fibrous pericardium. So it is lined, uh, it's lining just the inside of that fibrous pericardium. Whereas the serous pericardium visceral layer is attached to the heart wall itself. So you see here you have the visceral layer, which then turns into the parietal layer. And then here we're going to have fluid. That open space right here is called the pericardial cavity. And that fluid that is in between those two layers is going to reduce the friction between the heart and the fibrous pericardium and all the other organs that are around uh, as the heart beats. So as it beats, it moves around. And without that layer of fluid, it would have a lot of friction, which would not be good for the heart itself. So that is the pericardium. Now let's talk about the layers of the wall of the heart itself. So there are three layers that make up the wall of the heart itself. You have the epicardium, which is the outer layer. The epicardium is the visceral layer of the uh, serous pericardium. You have the endocardium, which is the inner layer. And then in the middle of that, you have the myocardium, which as we recall from the start of this screencast, myo means muscle. And so that myocardium is going to be the heart muscle. If you look at this diagram, you can see that the uh, myocardium is much, much thicker than the epicardium and the endocardium. And it's actually even more dramatic than this uh, because the endocardium and the uh, epicardium are actually even thinner than is kind of shown in this diagram. The epicardium, as I mentioned before, is another name for the visceral pericardium. When we're talking about the walls of the heart itself, we call it the epicardium. When we're talking about the uh, pericardium, the little pouch, we call it the visceral layer of the serous pericardium. 
So it does the same thing as its other role as part of the serous pericardium, which is to reduce friction. Now, the underneath the part that kind of helps with the lubrication and reducing friction, it also contains adipose or fat, which is going to be helpful for some cushioning. Then we have the myocardium. As I mentioned, it's the really thick middle layer of the wall of the heart. It's made up mostly of muscle. Um, and because this muscle contraction is so, so important to our survival, essential to our survival, it has really good blood and nerve supply, which we'll talk about in other screencasts. Finally, you have the endocardium, which is the inner layer of the wall of the heart. It has lots of different types of tissue, including epithelial tissue, connective tissue, blood vessels, and something called Purkinje fibers. These Purkinje fibers are specialized fibers that help with um, heart muscle contraction. So there you have the pericardial sac or pouch that surrounds the heart, as well as the three layers that make up the walls of the heart.